Blood sugar levels that are higher than normal but not yet high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes are considered to have prediabetes, a significant health condition. More than one in three American adults, or 96 million people, have prediabetes. More than 80% of people with prediabetes are unaware of their condition. Today we will be looking at what is prediabetes, its symptoms and treatments. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel. You run a higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke if you have prediabetes. The good news is that the CDC-led National Diabetes Prevention Program can assist you in changing your lifestyle to avert or postpone type 2 diabetes and other major health issues if you have prediabetes. The long-term effects of diabetes, particularly those to your heart, blood vessels, and kidneys, may have already begun if you have prediabetes. However, there is good news. It's not a given that someone with prediabetes will develop type 2 diabetes. Your blood sugar level can return to normal with the support of a balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight. The same lifestyle modifications that can prevent type 2 diabetes in adults may also be used to normalize blood sugar levels in kids. What causes prediabetes? Your pancreas produces the hormone insulin, which functions as a key to allow blood sugar to enter cells for use as fuel. The cells in your body don't react to insulin normally if you have prediabetes. To try and elicit a response from cells, your pancreas produces more insulin. Your blood sugar eventually rises as a result of your pancreas inability to keep up, which can lead to prediabetes and type 2 diabetes in the future. Signs and Symptoms Prediabetes can go undiagnosed for years if there are no obvious signs, leading to type 2 diabetes and other major health issues. If you have any of the following prediabetes risk factors, you should speak with your doctor about having your blood sugar checked. Weight One of the main risk factors for prediabetes is being overweight. Your cells grow more insulin-resistant the more fatty tissue you have, particularly inside and between the muscle and skin surrounding your abdomen. Waist size Insulin resistance may be indicated by a big waist size. Men with waists over 40 inches and women with waists above 35 inches are at an increased risk of developing insulin resistance. Diet A increased risk of prediabetes is linked to consuming red meat, processed meat, and drinks with added sugar. Inactivity Your chance of developing prediabetes increases the less active you are. Age Despite the fact that diabetes can occur at any age, the risk of prediabetes rises after the age of 35. Family Background Having a parent or sibling with type 2 diabetes raises your risk of developing prediabetes. Ethnicity or Race Certain persons, particularly those who are Black, Hispanic, American Indian, and Asian Americans, are more likely to acquire prediabetes, however it is unknown why. Gestational Diabetes Both you and your child are at an increased risk of getting prediabetes if you have gestational diabetes. Polycystic Ovary Syndrome Prediabetes is more likely in women with this prevalent illness, which is marked by irregular menstrual cycles, excessive hair growth, and obesity. Sleep Insulin resistance is more likely in those who have obstructive sleep apnea, a disorder that often interrupts sleep. Obstructive sleep apnea is more likely to occur in overweight or obese people. Tobacco smoke In persons with prediabetes, smoking may worsen insulin resistance and raise the chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Smoking raises your chance of developing diabetes-related problems. Causes Prediabetes is a condition for which there is no known cause. Nevertheless, it appears that one's genes and the history of one's family are crucial factors. Patients who have prediabetes are able to no longer metabolize sugar in a manner that is satisfactory, glucose. The majority of the glucose that is found in your body comes from the food that you eat. After digestion, sugar gets into your bloodstream. Insulin lowers the amount of sugar in your blood while still allowing glucose to enter your cells. Insulin is created by a gland called the pancreas, which is located behind the stomach. 
The pancreas is responsible for secreting insulin into the bloodstream, and digestion triggers this release. When your blood sugar begins to drop, the pancreas responds by reducing the amount of insulin that it secretes into the blood. If you have prediabetes, you may find that this method is less helpful for you. As a consequence of this, sugar accumulates in your bloodstream rather than supplying your cells with the energy they need. Because it's possible that your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin. The body develops insulin resistance, which reduces the quantity of sugar that is able to enter its cells. Pre-diabetes treatment. The primary treatment for pre-diabetes is the prevention of diabetes by the use of a healthy diet, consistent physical activity, and weight loss. The levels of sugar in your blood can be managed, and further elevations can be avoided, with the assistance of these three elements. There is a possibility that your blood sugar levels will drop. Alterations to one's way of life can reverse prediabetes and prevent diabetes. Can medicine help treat prediabetes? Diabetes drugs are only moderately effective when weighed against lifestyle changes like diet and exercise. On the other hand, if you are at a high risk for diabetes and have other health conditions, your doctor may suggest that you take medication. A few examples of this include having a high body mass index BMI, having high levels of triglycerides, having low levels of good HDL cholesterol, and having high blood pressure. Living with prediabetes When you have prediabetes, your main goal should be to avoid developing diabetes. The greatest ways to do this are through regular exercise, healthy nutrition, and weight loss. But these lifestyle adjustments might be challenging. Here are some pointers to assist you in properly making adjustments. Take small steps. A healthy lifestyle change requires time and effort. You are not need to make all the modifications at once, though. Start out modestly, perhaps by switching from soda to water. Once you've changed, acknowledge your accomplishments. Then go to the next modification you must make. Though it can take some time, keep going. Your way of life will keep becoming better, and so will your health. Don't let failures stop you. Nobody is flawless. Reverting to previous behaviors can be simple. If you make a mistake and experience a setback, resume your healthy habit as soon as you can. Even if you occasionally move backward, your health will become better as long as you keep going forward. Find support. Self-reliance makes things more difficult. Find others who are attempting the same changes that you are. While you assist one another, they can offer inspiration and novel suggestions for you to try. Additionally, they help you take responsibility for your choices. When you have a partner ready to work out with you, skipping a workout is much more difficult. Educate yourself. Learn how to choose healthier foods when dining out, in the kitchen, and at the grocery store. Making healthy food choices for yourself is made simpler the more you understand about how food interacts with your body and what you should eat. Your doctor might advise dietitian consultations or dietary advice. They can assist you in kicking bad behaviors and learning better lifestyles. Remember the big picture. Making decisions on a daily basis can be challenging. However, over time, they all work together to improve your overall health. By working hard, staying focused, and making wise decisions, prediabetes can be managed and even reversed. One step at a time, you are altering your life. That's end for today's video. What do you recommend us to make video on? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates.